everyone, you have been learning about acids and bases since your lower classes. You have learned that acids are substances which are sour in taste and they turn the blue litmus paper red. On the other hand, bases are substances which are bitter in taste and they turn red litmus paper blue. But this is not the actual or real definition of acids and bases. We need some proper definition to learn acid and base. So the very first theory was proposed by Arrhenius and that theory is known as Arrhenius theory of acids and bases. So today in this video we are going to learn about acids and bases in terms of Arrhenius theory. Like how Arrhenius defined acids and bases. So first begin with acid. According to Arrhenius, acids are substances which contain hydrogen. They are hydrogen containing substances and they give rise to H plus ion, hydrogen ion when they are dissolved in water or in aqueous medium they form H plus. So we can define acids as they are hydrogen containing substances. They contain hydrogen and they give rise to H plus ions in aqueous medium. And on the other hand, bases are the substances which contain OH, which contain OH in it. And they give rise to OH minus ion, hydroxic ion, when dissolved in water. So bases contain OH. And also they produce OH minus ions in the aqueous medium. So let us understand this with certain examples of acids and bases. The first and the easiest example is going to be hydrochloric acid that is HCl. So if we are talking about HCl, it contains hydrogen. So there are chances that it can be called as Arrhenius acid because it contains hydrogen. Now when this HCl is present in aqueous medium, that means when this HCl is dissolved in water, it will ionize into H plus ions and Cl minus ions. So this HCl is satisfying both the criteria. It contains hydrogen and also it is producing H plus ion when it is present in the aqueous state. Now how is the reaction actually taking place? This water reacts with this HCl. So in reality the reaction will take place like this. HCl plus H2O. So now you all know that in aqueous medium HCl will form H plus and OH minus. Um, so you all know that in aqueous medium HCl will form H plus and Cl minus. So Cl minus is already there. But this H plus will combine with water. How will it combine? Because you all know that hydro, uh, hydrogen is uh, hydrogen is electropositive. So it will have partial positive charge and oxygen being electronegative, it 
will have partial negative charge on itself. On top of that, every oxygen atom in water molecule uh, contains two lone pairs of electrons. So there are extra electrons present. So this H plus can easily interact with these uh, lone pairs of electrons on oxygen. So this H plus will come and interact with one of the lone pair of the electron. So, what we have is this entire molecule. So, there are three hydrogen atoms, H3 and only one oxygen, H3O with a positive charge. So, we call this as H3O plus plus Cl minus and this H3O plus is called as hydronium ion. We 
can call NaOH sodium hydroxide as a Rainier's base. Let us take one more example. NH4OH, ammonium hydroxide. Now this ammonium hydroxide is a weak base. So we will call reversible arrows represent karenge. Okay, what we have said about base, it should contain OH. 
and it should give OH minus I. But NH3 एक ऐसा बेस है जिसके अंदर OH minus है ही नहीं. So from where will it release OH minus? But फिर भी ये basic है. So again ये एक limitation हो गया. We can say that ये वाला जो part है NH3 basic क्यों है? It is not explained by Arrhenius theory. So this was the uh, one more limitation of Arrhenius theory. Then the next limitation is, it says that it should contain hydrogen, acid should contain hydrogen and it should give H plus ion but हमको तो पता है H plus ion will not exist independently, वो अकेला अलग से exist नहीं करेगा. Every H plus ion will react with H2O, this H plus will react with H2O. To form H3O plus hydronium ion. मतलब हम लिखने के लिए ऐसा simplicity के लिए H plus लिखते हैं, but वो actually है क्या? H3O plus है, because every H plus will react with water in which we have dissolved the substance. तो ये वाला part, this formation of hydronium ion was not considered or it was we can say it was not explained by Arrhenius theory of acids and bases. Then there are certain substances. Then there are certain substances like FeCl3, Na2CO3, there are certain substances when we dissolve these substances in water, they can act as an acid or as a base. So if we dissolve, if you take FeCl3 and dissolve it in, into water, then it will, it will act as an acid. If you take Na2CO3 in aqueous solution, it will act as a base. But what is Arrhenius theory ka definition? Kya hai? Arrhenius theory, acid should give H+, plus, Arrhenius base should give OH-. minus. But here it is not like that. I mean, H+, plus hai nahi. there is no H+, plus in FeCl3, there is no OH- minus in Na2CO3. Still, both are acid and bases. Hai. They act as acid and bases in aqueous medium. So, we can say, aise wale jo substances hai, jis mein H+, plus nahi hai, jis mein OH- minus nahi hai, but phir bhi wo acid ya phir base ki tarah act karte hai, ye wale substance ka koi bhi explanation, koi bhi information Arrhenius theory mein nahi hai. There are certain non-aqueous solvents, for example SO2. So certain non-aqueous solvents like SO2 will also show neutralization reaction. According to Arrhenius theory, how long ne kya bola tha? The neutralization reaction between acid and base take place in aqueous medium. But there are certain non-aqueous solvents. Non-aqueous matlab jis mein water nahi hai wo. So there are certain non-aqueous solvents जिसके अंदर भी neutralization reaction होता है. So it doesn't talk this theory, doesn't talk about such non-aqueous solvents or we can say it doesn't explain anything about such kind of neutralization reaction. Thank you so much for watching.